CAD-CAM dentistry represents an alternative digital workflow for traditional or conventional methods of doing dentistry. I've been using CAD-CAM technology for about eight years now in my dental practice. And although my practice is not completely digital, I do find myself using this technology more and more. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at CAD-CAM dentistry. Hello and welcome to another video from the Comprehensive Dentist. My name is Dr. B and today we are talking about CAD-CAM dentistry. When talking to dental providers, I see a wide range of responses when I ask them their thoughts on CAD-CAM technology. In my experience, people either love it or they don't think it is as good as traditional methods. Or they just don't have enough experience with the systems to comment. CAD-CAM dentistry stands for computer-aided design and computer-aided milling, meaning you use a computer to design and mill a dental restoration. But the use of dental technology does not stop there. There are a number of CAD-CAM-based units on the market, such as the Cirac system by Dent Supply Serona, E4D Dentist, Itero, Lava, Chairside Oral Scanner. Cirac and E4D have the ability to do in-office design and milling, and Itero and Lava scanners are used for image acquisition only. Personally, I have been using the Cirac system by Dent Supply Serona for the last seven years. Using a handheld scanner, the intraoral tissues can be digitally scanned and the images are sent to a computer that houses 2D and 3D images. These digital files that are created can be used in a variety of ways. As mentioned earlier, these digital files can be used to design and mill a dental restoration, Designing of intraoral restorations is done using a computer monitor and design software. Once the restoration is designed, it can then be sent to a milling machine where the restoration is milled from a prefabricated block of porcelain or whatever other type of material you plan to use. There are a ton of materials that can be used for CAD-CAM dentistry. For example, there are feldpathic porcelains, lucite reinforced and lithium disilicate porcelains, composite zirconia, and provisional material options as well. And if you do not want to design and mill your own restorations, you can send digital impressions to a dental lab who can then use those impressions to do whatever you desire. CAD-CAM technology gives you options to fabricate inlays, onlays, veneers, crowns, FDPs, implant abutments, and crowns, complete full mouth reconstructions, and can even be useful in orthodontics and removable prosthodontics as well. The extent to which the provider wishes to use CAD-CAM is up to them. I was always taught that CAD-CAM technology in dentistry represents a tool, an alternative way of doing things. And just like anything in dentistry, it is important that we understand the best ways to use CAD-CAM dentistry so we can get the most out of it, but equally important is that we understand the limitations of CAD-CAM dentistry as well. There was this quote from Gordon Christensen in the Jada article from 2008 that said, as with any other area of dentistry, the clinical quality of CAD-CAM milled restorations varies significantly, dependent entirely on the quality standards of the clinician. What does that mean? To me, it means you get out of it what you put in. The quality is up to you. You see, when using CAD-CAM technology, things tend to snowball. It will either make good dentistry better or bad dentistry worse. To get the most out of CAD-CAM, you have to do your best. When applying something new like CAD-CAM into your practice, you have to understand there will be a learning curve and it requires you to learn new things to make it work for you and your patients. CAD-CAM offers a number of advantages, so let's look at what those are. Mm -hmm. 
CAD CAM has the potential to be faster than traditional methods. Traditional methods for producing indirect restorations require PVS impressions, and these must be sent to a dental lab for fabrication of the final restoration. While the restoration is being prepared at the lab, the dental patient most likely has to have a temporary restoration until the final restoration is complete. At a minimum, traditional methods require a two appointment approach. If you know how to use the technology, digital impressions are faster than traditional impression techniques. Every year, this speed appears to get better and faster and faster. Milling and restoration is also faster than traditional lab fabrication techniques for making a restoration as well. Without the need to send the case to a lab, you speed up the entire process from start to finish of the case. All digital scans are stored on a hard drive and therefore take up less space than traditional stone models. This could be very attractive for like an orthodontic practice where they are required to store models for many years after treatment. And if you desire, you can fabricate physical models from the digital impressions if you have a 3D printer or access to a lab that has the ability to fabricate models from digital impressions. Many manufacturers make blocks of machinable ceramics or machinable composites. These materials are fabricated under ideal industrial conditions and so their physical properties have been fully optimized. CATCAM offers a wide variety of materials in various shades and translucency. These options give you every opportunity imaginable to make your restoration blend well in the mouth. We talked about CAD CAM and how it can be faster and related that to speed. Um, there's also the ability to fabricate same day restorations. This eliminates the need for temporary restorations and local anesthesia is not required as often. These savings in time and labor have the potential to reduce overhead and offer patient satisfaction in a single visit. Over time, your dental team can be trained to design and mill restorations. To maximize efficiency in the dental clinic, dental providers should focus on the things that only they are trained to do. You can prepare the teeth and then a trained staff member can do the rest with your supervision, of course. But the time you save by having a staff member trained can be invaluable and further add to the financial viability of the CAD CAM technology. With a properly trained provider and staff, CAD CAM technology can be easy to use and offer you quality comparable to traditional techniques. Now, I would be lying to you if I acted like CAD CAM is perfect and it doesn't have some disadvantages. First and foremost is the startup costs. The equipment and software is expensive and price varies depending on which system you're entertaining. The startup costs require you to take a hard look at whether or not this technology will offer you a suitable return on your investment. You need to have a large enough volume of patients requiring indirect restorations in your practice to make this worthwhile. Digital workflows can make or break your productivity and when first implemented, they will slow you down. You need to understand that a learning curve does exist and you should plan to give yourself and your team time to properly learn and implement the technology. It will take time to become proficient with the system, especially if you hope to make it financially viable. Digital impressions require accuracy to make them work. When doing conventional PBS impressions, you must have good soft tissue management to include hemostasis, moisture control, and tissue retraction. This attention to detail also applies to CAD CAM technology as well. It can be difficult to digitally capture a subgingival margin. Attention to detail and maintaining quality standards will serve you well, but ignoring these recommendations can lead to inadequate, less than ideal restorations. Learning to color match CAD CAM restorations can be challenging. It's not impossible, but you need to learn how to best use the system to do aesthetic restorations. 
Personally, I think starting on posterior restorations where aesthetics is less critical is a good idea. With time and training, you can then progress to anterior restorations more predictably. Many CAD cam restorations are milled from monochromatic blocks of porcelain. This means that the shade is uniform throughout. If you're trying to match a monochromatic block to natural teeth with a wide variety of shades, translucency, and characteristics, it can be very challenging. To overcome this, multichromatic blocks do exist and can shade match a little easier. You can also use stains and characterize the tooth to make small shade adjustments. Single unit restorations are easier to learn, but when you start using CAD CAM technology to design bridges or implant restorations, this will require more training and expertise. These type of restorations will make workflow productivity more challenging. As with anything, there is a learning curve and it will take time to make it work predictably and be profitable. So by now in this video, hopefully you know a little bit more about CAD CAM technology and understand some of the advantages and disadvantages of using it in the dental practice. CAD CAM is a tool and it can be a benefit to your practice with proper training and implementation. You need to build time into your schedule to practice the new concepts of CAD CAM dentistry and over time it will become easier and easier. CAD CAM technology represents some of the most advanced tools we have in dentistry today and the digital workflow can revolutionize your practice. I don't know if CAD CAM or digital dentistry is right for you. That is for you to decide. I hope the information I presented here at least gets you started. If you'd like to learn more about CAD CAM, specifically CIRAC technology, I would like to encourage you to visit www.comprehensivedentist.com. I recently posted content on CAD CAM dentistry to the site and I think you will find it useful even if you're not a current CAD CAM user. One of the things I posted was a CAD CAM dentistry manual that covers topics such as CAD CAM, um, use in dentistry, advantages, disadvantages, dental literature on CAD CAM, how to integrate CAD CAM into your practice, and an overview of CIRAC Acquisition Center with OmniCAM and CIRAC software. You'll learn how to maintenance the CIRAC system and there's a huge section on dental materials for the CIRAC unit. There is a section on treatment planning as it relates to indirect restorations. CAD CAM dentistry results in a restoration that is milled and this requires special considerations for prep design. There's an entire section on this topic as well. Additional topics in this manual are things like shade taking, isolation techniques, soft tissue management, preparation designs, adhesive dentistry, post milling considerations, staining and glazing, and alternative techniques of more conservative dentistry. Go check it out if you think this will be useful. I want to thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. God bless you and I will see you next time.